Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 154. Let's get started. This isn't just a dispute between us and Whitemond. It's a fight with every nation that has a problem with us having an empire. We should make an example out of White Mond and show them our might and power. How easily they speak of war. But White Mond did act rashly by holding merchants captive simply because they felt uneasy. We shouldn't rush to a decision on this matter. I propose we look into it more before further discussions. Let's move on to the next agenda item. Uh, um, th there's a rumor going around th that suggests Her Majesty divorced the Eastern Empire's emperor due to her infertility. What do you just say? N naturally, I, I don't put stock in such baseless rumors, but, but it is in a very important and concerning I issue. So I thought it was appropriate to ask Her Majesty about it directly. Judging by his attitude, he's not asking because he actually wants to know. Of course, it isn't true. Someone likely put him up to this. It was probably... Oh, Marquise Catrin? Catrin? Allow me to excuse myself. Yes, your majesty. Even if I was infertile, there's no chance of someone from your family being the next empress. I don't quite follow. What I'm saying is, your efforts will get you nowhere. I bet he didn't expect me to be so direct. <laughs> You're accusing the wrong person. <laughs> Cling. Cut, cut. I apologize. It's right. Accidents happen. Really, he should be apologizing to Marquis Catron. <laughs> childish, re childish revenge, I see. I shall take my leave. <laughs> my queen, do you like fish? Fish? I'm trying to catch a big fish, and I think I just felt a nibble. Once I reel it in, I'll cook it up for you. I hope the Marquis suits your palate. Huh? That sounds kind of scary. The Remarried Empress, episode 154. Even something that never happed, happened can become reality once people start talking about it. I received a confirmation from Empress Rashta that the Emperor divorced Empress Nabir because of her infertility. It doesn't matter what the truth is. This is enough to attack the Empress. I planted the seeds well. Soon the suspicions I planted in people will spread like wildfire. The Empress and Emperor may be popular at the moment. But if I introduce the reason the Empress' brother was banished from the Eastern Empire into the mix, things will become very interesting. There's also the information just got my I just got my hands on. Amber Henry was a notorious womanizer, so it's not shocking that he would have a secret lover. A secret lover? Still, his lover moved nearby not long after the rumors about the Empress' infertility began to grow. What a curious coincidence. As always, thank you. A woman in hiding and two imperial guards. And she even has a child. <laughs> it's getting more and more intriguing. Why do you live here and not in the palace with your son? I don't wish to impose, plus he's a newlywed. Has his majesty ever given you a keepsake? Oh, he did give me this. A, it may look like an ordinary gem, but it bears the imperial crest. If you lend me the keepsake, I'll show it to his majesty. 
how can I trust you? How about you hold on the mark of my title? Oh. This will put an end to the arrogance of the, that young cu couple. Two days later in the cabinet room. It's been a while, Aaliyah. It's Melaya, your highness. And as for me, it's your majesty now. He's not even pretending not to know her because the empress isn't here. <laughs> so Malaya, what brings you here? Huh? I'm here because of a promise that Marquis Catron made to me. Oh, what kind of promise? I can't tell you the exact details. But he promised to be with me. However, he not only broke his promise and abandoned me, he also ordered me to do something outrageous. I was so angry that I had to come. It seems like there's been a misunderstanding. That woman claimed to be your majesty's lover, so I brought her here because it sounded credible. You traitor! Oh, you dared try to deceive his majesty after giving me this? <sighs> I've been duped. The emperor set me up. Margie's Catron won't be making any more moves because it would be damaging for him if it got out that he tried to slander you. His magical abilities, his family background, and his capability as diplomat. If any of those were lacking, I would have replaced him already. Then this should be his last chance. Your Majesty, what is it? Well, I don't know how, to, how it happened. But Miss Avely has her magic back. Huh? What? It finally happening. Okay, so far, so this read, pretty good, pretty solid. More drama on Henry and Navier's side, especially trying to get Marquis Catron to kind of like chill out. Because that man is nosy, nosy, nosy. And... He, yeah, it makes sense though. He he really just doesn't like Navier and doesn't like the fact that she's there and probably want to climb up in ranks, but kind of got stuck right there. Anyways, his influence is about to be drained, and now we're we're hearing that Emily is having her magic back, her mana. Like that's a big thing. But I wonder what's the next move now with her. You know. All right, guys. I needed a moment. If you guys enjoy the way I read and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!